Um, at Tufts, the hospital has prioritized the safety of our nursing staff and all my colleagues when it comes to preparedness. They've taken the concerns of the staff seriously and are willing and able to answer any and all of our questions. They are working with us through training and um, have the adequate pro personal protective equipment. There's been an open dialogue between the hospital and the nurses about getting prepared for any potential cases. They have created a, an Ebola bundle for staff that includes information and procedures for how to handle and, and cases that may present at our hospital. There is an Ebola command center that people are invited to drop in, and we have an Ebola team that can be activated by a paging system. The hospital has established um, a specific group of about 200 clinicians who are most at risk for coming into contact with an Ebola patient. Uh, additionally, the hospital has designated specific uh, the 200. There's 200 cl clinicians that have been targeted for specific training, the ones that will most likely come in contact with an Ebola patient. Additionally, the hospital has designated specific beds for any Ebola patients that may need care at our facility. We do have the appropriate personal protective equipment and uh, no skin will be exposed. This was a decision that was made um, prior to CDC recommendations and those, our standards actually exceeded anything that the CDC originally um, put out. Informational uh, briefings have been run around the clock and nurses and all other hospital staff are encouraged to, uh, to attend. At this point, I would say the biggest challenge is just getting everybody in enough time to learn how to doff and don the equipment appropriately. That, so we're just asking for the hospital to provide adequate time for that and they actually have been very good about that, willing to pay overtime for nurses to come in before shifts or stay after shifts to accomplish that task. Thus far, Tufts has demonstrated a willingness to protect the nurses and other staff. Our, our plan is pretty um, comprehensive and they're out there asking us questions and answering questions. It's an evolving uh, situation on a daily basis. To date, we have had five activations of the plan and we learn something new each time. One of the areas of great needs, and not just at our facility, but um, I would say statewide, is OBGYN department. Those patients, um, the intake of those patients is wide and varied, so that definitely needs to be addressed. And the message, the big message here today is that there is such a huge disparity in preparedness at facilities. We're all nurses. We all need and deserve the same protection across the state. Thank you.